Hello, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So you guys, I hope you're having a really awesome holiday weekend. I really do. Um, just stay safe in the travels out there, you guys. Enjoy the festivities, you know. Anyway, um, I'm being led, like not even just led. They're like shouting at me use the oracles right i'm supposed to be reading you guys some oracles for um the beginning of your reading so yeah i don't know what we're gonna find out but anyway taurus virgo capricorn you guys thank you for all of your support thank you to all of my subscribers everybody new here welcome um and you know this is a collective reading so it may not be for all of you just take what resonates leave the rest behind easy peasy right all right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Just checking the weekend holiday energy, you know. Okay, this is how they have it. Happy heart. I have a happy heart. Today will be full of joyful moments waiting for me to discover. My gratitude overflows from my inner self to those around me. Okay. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you're feeling really good, really positive vibrations, thankful, grateful to the divine for all the blessings that you have. You know, it's given me this like, you know, holiday, you know, it's the holiday season, right? It's giving me like um, getting into the Christmas spirit, that kind of thing, or, you know, wherever you are, the holidays, you know, or just you're just out there kind of clicking your heels. You know, take it how it resonates, right? But yeah, you're feeling really good. Um, okay, and then we have the Celestial Lighthouse. I am guided. The benevolent force that holds the universe holds me like a lighthouse on a hill. My guide beckons with their celestial light. I am accompanied on my journey by love, wisdom, and power. I'm never alone. Yeah, see, and I feel like maybe you had some kind of confirmation or something in your own life, but you um, you feel very secure. And, you know, honestly, especially for an earth sign, you have to feel grounded and stable. Otherwise, you don't like the shakeups. You know what I mean? You want to have your feet firmly planted on the ground. You want to be leveled out in your emotions, balanced, stable, grounded. Okay. And, um, I feel like it's, it's then when you're truly happy, you know, you're not all up in your head. Like, um, you can get all up in your mind going through all of these different scenarios. And, um, when you're grounded and stable, you can just enjoy the moment, you know, just truly enjoy it. And I feel like that's how you feel here with this happy heart. You know, you're really just in the moment. You're good. Okay. You could have your bills paid, everything done, relaxing or enjoying like outings and parties or whatever. Um, you're probably sticking close to home though, doing maybe family things. You're just enjoying the moment because you feel secure right now okay there's no shake-ups you're you're feeling blessed i like this energy um and if you're not there yet you will be like within the next few days okay jewel of the lotus i am transcendent emerging from the veiled depths i unfurl my essence petal by petal as i open myself the divine light within grows brighter. See, you're feeling so good. Revealing the truth that I am a precious jewel. Yes, okay. You are feeling, you're feeling good about yourself. It's like everything's kind of straight right now, you know? Everything's straight right now. It's, it's a, maybe like, maybe this holiday is like your favorite time of year, something like that. I don't know. Um, but it's got a kind of a, you have a twinkle in your eye and a kick in your step, right? Um, okay, light of forgiveness. I forgive myself and others. See, this is what you're doing. You're releasing. That's why it feels so good. Boom, you're releasing. Okay, you want to enter this new cycle fearlessly with no baggage, not thinking about the hurt and the, and the traumas that you've been through in the past. You know, you don't want to overthink stuff anymore. 
You just want to enjoy the moment, and that's what you're doing. Um, yeah, and you're forgiving in um, other people in order to make that release. I free myself. I bounce back from negative emotions and do not linger in dark places. My life is a light that chases away shadows. Yeah, and it's true. You're, and that's what it's doing. You're, <laughs> I don't know how many other ways to say it. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you're feeling really good these days. And those positive vibes, um, it's chasing away all the negativity. And I feel like that's what your intention is, okay? You, um, you're turning over a new page. You're enjoying things, you know? Um, you don't want to have any more scenarios and worries about whatever it is that you're thinking about, right? You don't want to think about it anymore. I don't even want to bring it up in your reading, honestly. Um, I don't. Because I think you're on a, a you're on a flipping roll here, and I love it for you. Okay? And honestly, you're just feeling very grounded and stable right now. You're in a really good place. Okay? Yeah, look, this should be a time of celebration, and you're making it that way. You are. You're out here celebrating, having a good time. This can be a party, an event that you're going to be going to. So this could be something that's coming up in the future, you know. I'm also seeing you being greeted here, maybe at a door. Yeah, so you could be going to a party or an event in the next couple of days, right? Something like that. And I, I'm seeing three days maybe, okay. Um, all dressed up, looking, looking fantastic, okay. Um, and just having a good time. This is and meeting up with other people, friends, family. This doesn't have to be a reunion card. This can be people that you've built a solid foundation with, okay? Um, but yeah, you, this could be going to a family event. You're going to be feeling really good, okay? All right, so what else can you show me for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? I totally love this for you. I do. What is this? Somebody's going to be watching you, though. I, you know, feels like they want to talk to you, but maybe they're feeling a bit intimidated or afraid. What is this? See, I don't, honestly, your reading is going so well. <laughs> I really don't want to see negative negative stuff in here. And I feel like that's how you're feeling these days. Like, nope. I'm pushing out the negative. What is it? What did it say about that card again? I bounce back from negative emotions and do not linger in dark places. Yeah, we don't want to hear about the negative, but it's already out. So somebody can't sleep at night. They, um, they know that they need to give you some kind of justice for how they treated you in the past. Okay. They're watching you, watching what you're doing. If you're going to be posting things on the internet, like photos, they're going to be seeing these photos. And I'm just feeling this regret off of this person. Okay knowing that they've done a lot and they feel like um, they feel like they need to make it right you know honestly it, it could be that holiday holidays can be very difficult if you've got something weighing heavy on your mind you know if guilt has caught up with you so i feel like that that's what's happening to this person you could be dealing with a, a libra maybe an aquarius This person wants to boss up and do the right thing, okay? And I feel like they're not a part of this party. Um, I feel like they're watching you from afar, though. So, they, like I said, anything that you're posting on the Internet, maybe, they can't stop thinking about, look, they, this person knows that they want to come towards you and apologize. This could even be the father of your children, Okay, and maybe they are coming to see the children and they're kind of like, you know, they're nervous about it. They're having a lot of anxiety about it because they know they're going to see you. 
and they know they've done some nasty things to you. This could be somebody that you've recently or maybe in the past got um, divorced from, okay? I feel like, yeah, so for some reason, maybe they got an invitation. They could have gotten an invitation to this event if you have children. If not, this is just this person wanting to show up because they can't stop thinking about you, okay? They want to come and apologize. I feel like, too, when they get to the... If this person is going to this party, when they get there, they're going to be kind of like acting like the life of the party, you know? This could also be somebody who drinks a lot. They could drink a lot. Or maybe there's some kind of drinking game or something going on at this event. Yeah. Ooh. And I feel like what this person knows when they drink, they say whatever they want. This person can be mean, just downright mean and nasty. I feel like when they drink, they like to insult you. Or maybe that's how they treated you in the past. If you were married to this person, this is the reason why you got a divorce. Okay, this, the way they act when they've been drinking. And if this is children at this event, um, they're going to be acting this way in front of the kids, or maybe that's something that you're worried about. They're going to be acting a complete fool. They're going to be mean, rude, you know, and they just... They, I feel like once this person starts to drink, they can't seem to stop. Yeah, they say some nasty things. They could cause a tower moment. Something could get broken. They could fall into something here and it could break. Um, possibly even cause some kind of damage to the house. This could also be something like drinking and driving. Okay. It could very well be something like drinking and driving. But, yeah, this person is a sloppy mess when they drink. Okay? And they're mean. They're mean when they're, when they're, at once they've started drinking, man, that's it. And they just act a fool. They're, they may be embarrassing. They, um... They kind of have a tendency to wreck stuff. This could be a fairly big person, like a larger in stature individual. And they really are sloppy when they're drinking. Okay. Oh, boy. You know, and it's going so well. Your reading was going so well. I feel like there may be somebody at this event that can see why this commitment didn't work, okay? I'm getting the sense that you've got somebody around you or you will have someone around you. It could even be like this person's friend because I'm seeing this person coming there possibly with another, with a, another person, like a, a masculine, okay? Because they may be nervous about going to this event as well. So, um, but I feel like there's somebody who, like, wa is just constantly watching you, okay? And this King of Pentacles may see you as somebody that they really, ooh, yeah. Yeah, man, there could very well be a fight that pops off over you, okay? Yep, 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 there could be a fight that pops off. Um, because... I feel like somebody may even defend you here because you're very loving. See, this person starts insulting you or something, and you're very loving, okay, very nurturing. You've got your chin up. You've got, you're holding your head up high, you know, you're, you're, um, and you're peaceful, right? There's going to be a fight that goes down about you. It may not be at this event. Um, this may be something where, you know, uh, these two see each other in a bar because I've got a bar scene here as well, okay? And I picked up on, like, drinking games and whatnot. So 
um, there could be this tower moment when these two are out. Because I'm, I'm really getting the sense that you're in this beautiful energy. I don't know if this person shows up at your event or not. I just feel like you're, you're still very peaceful, very calm. And there's people fighting over you here. These two people. This one, this, um, this emperor energy, and this one here. The king of pentacles. You could be dealing with another um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So somebody like defends you behind the scenes because they want you. They, they may want a commitment with you. I feel like something gets heated, okay? Something gets heated. And somebody kind of, somebody defends you here, okay? With the Seven of Swords, I feel like um, they see somebody as like a trickster. Somebody who's um, maybe just trying to cause some kind of drama. Uh, I've, I'm just seeing something popping off here, and there's a lot of passionate, heated, angry energy going on between these two masculines. I don't know who this is. Possible fire sign, maybe Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Possible Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Because I feel like somebody loves you. Someone loves you. And I feel like it's this King of Pentacles. They're going to defend you. And there's going to be a fight between these two. Hangman. Yeah, seeing something from a new perspective. I feel like this person, somebody here is going to be defending you, whether it's at this engagement or party that you're going to, or whether it's someplace else in like a bar scene. Someone's going to be defending you. There's going to be a fight that goes down between these two masculine energies. Someone may be acting like such a big fool that they actually end up in jail. Okay? They're doing nothing but either insulting you or insulting you behind your back. And somebody steps in and says, no, man, no. Okay, so you got two masculine energies fighting over you, okay? <laughs> yeah, see, they're, I, I feel like they both feel like a fool because they both, I, I feel like, I don't know. I kind of get the sense that one was maybe talking to the other um, to keep one away from you or saying all kinds of trash talk about you to make somebody run away. But they both feel like a fool here because you were the true empress this whole time. Every queen in the deck, irreplaceable. You're irreplaceable. So, you know, um, yeah. And that could be the hangman energy, somebody seeing you from a whole new perspective, realizing that there were some lies of betrayal, okay? That you're actually out here in star energy, empress energy? Whew. So, yeah. Um, in the public eye, beautiful, loving, very intuitive energy. You could have your own platform. You could have like a website or a blog or an ebook or um, a YouTube channel. Or, um, you know, you could just be on social media. But um, I feel like you're attracting a lot of attention to yourself right now. Like, especially star energy and the empress energy. Oh, yeah. Like, everybody's going to be attracted to you. So, yeah, people are feeling like a complete fool here. I feel like both of them are. Okay. I don't know. I've, I'm kind of getting, the more I get into this energy, the more it feels like this this person who drinks a lot, okay, this ex, 
right, has been saying really nasty things about you. And I feel like they, um, they made this person run away from you before. I feel like these two know each other. So there, there's going to be a fight. There's going to be some kind of confrontation between these two. All right, so what else can you show me? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, the illusions are down. And uh, somebody is seeing you as the one, okay? There could be a lot of people that are lining up to date you right now. I'm not going to lie. It looks, like, it looks to me like you have a lot of options here. So, and who wouldn't want an empress and a queen of pentacles, your wifey and a star? Um, yeah, you're like everything here. So, yeah, I feel like um, there, somebody here is losing you. They both lost you. One, because somebody drinks too much and um, is too nasty. And the other one, I feel they listened to this other person and ran away and now they want to come back in they're defending you though behind the scenes you don't realize that i think you're just working on yourself and like i said you're out here having a good time okay just know that behind the scenes these two are going to be getting into a fight over you but you just focus on having a good time okay go out there celebrate your accomplishments because you've accomplished a lot, okay? And um, know that you are that, um, that true jewel. And just keep, stay in your positive vibes. Just remain grounded and stable, okay? And just enjoy the moment that you're living in now. These two, they're going to work things out in their own way. These two masculine energies, they're going to be fighting over you. Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I have for this reading. Thank you guys so, so much, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, right? Join this soul tribe, you guys. It's, it's such an awesome soul tribe, I'm telling you. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.